This is the third and fourth and first and second area alternating this. It's cold. <laughs> and so, what do you have seven? Third and fourth. And seven, ten, eight. So I have nine, ten, ten. So, so hmm. we will take two each. And you have eleven, ten. Come on. I think I just don't want to work <laughs> and it is cold. <laughs> okay. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Heavenly Father, we come to you in the midst of fear and struggle. Calm our anxious hearts and give hope to all who despair. Lord Jesus Christ, bearer of our sins, healer of every e of our every evil ill. Walk with us through our trials, through our darkest hours. Open our hearts to the hope offered by the mystery of your dying and rising. Holy Spirit, breath of life, bringer of truth, plant your word deep within us. Let the story of your passion inspire us anew to walk our path of discipleship. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 At the crosser station keeping stood the mournful mother weeping close to Jesus to the last. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus' condemnation is one of justice and cowardice. It is the condemnation of truth itself. Pilate finds no crime in Jesus, yet he falls to the pressure of the angry crowd. This situation calls us to reflect on the importance of uh, his discerning truth, whether we allow that truth to guide our lives. In upon message, message, during this pandemic, it is more important than ever that we heed the advice offered by those who proclaim the truth. And so we pray, Lord Jesus Christ, our way, truth and life, help us to discern your voice from the noise, help us to know your truth from deceit, and keep us rooted in the hope of your gospel. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy be name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Through her heart is sorrow-sharing all his bitter anguish bearing. Now at length the sword has passed. The second station, Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. At the time, cru crucifixion was reserved for the lowest of classes. As he takes up his cross, we see Jesus again aligned with the poor and marginalized. We are all suffering a variety of challenges in the wake of this pandemic. As we turn to our own struggles, let us also be mindful of those most impacted by this time of social distancing, those who have lost work, those without access to medical care, the elderly, the poor. And so we pray, Lord Jesus Christ, bearer of our crosses, give us the strength to meet the challenges of these difficult days. Help us to live your call to serve the poor, to heal the sick, to clothe the naked. Bless us, the crea bless us with the creativity and the courage to find ways we can continue to serve the least among us. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Sad and sore distress was that mother of highly blessed of the soul begotten one. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by, by your, your holy, holy cross, cross you, you have redeemed, redeemed the, the world. world. The weight of Jesus' cross causes him to fall. We too will fall as we seek to bear our own crosses. As we seek to bear the weight of the challenges posed to us by the coronavirus, there will be many times we falter and fail. Our strength, our patience, will be tested at times. Yet we remember, Jesus got up and persevered, and so must we. When has your faith been tested? What provided you comfort during those times? And so we pray, Lord Jesus Christ, Redeemer of the world, Give us the strength to persevere when we falter. Teach us the compassion to show others patience and mercy. Inspire us to rise up stronger each time we fall. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done. done. On earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Christ above in torment hangs, she beneath beholds the pangs of her dying glorious Son. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Times like this, there are many questions about our faith and the nature of God. How could a God who claims to love us allow such suffering, who stands at the intersection of motherly suffering and steadfast discipleship? Her words, may it be done to me according to your word not only apply to the birth of jesus but also to his death and so we pray hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed, blessed. art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now, now and at the hour of our, of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was in the beginning, is now, and, and ever shall, shall be, world without end. Amen. Is there one who would not win overwhelmed in mysteries so deep? Christ, dear Mother, to behold. The fifth station, Simon of Cyrene, helps Jesus to carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Often we are asked to carry crosses that are not our own. This is especially true now as we are asked to make sacrifices for the good of our vulnerable brothers and sisters. Yet carrying, our cro carrying of our crosses, the call of discipleship, are not things we are asked to do on our own. We as members of the body of Christ bear these challenges together. Whom do you cling to during times of trouble? Who depends on you for courage and strength? And so we pray, Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen the bonds of our community. Help us to extend the spirit of mercy and compassion to all our brothers and sisters. Make us ever mindful that we journey this difficult road together. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Can the human 
refrain, part refrain, from partaking in her pain. In that mother's pain untold. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. While Veronica specifically does not appear in the Gospels, we can focus more on her gesture rather than on who she was. In wiping Jesus' face of his sweat and blood, she helps to reveal again the face of God. Do we see beyond the scars, the tears, the wounds of our neighbors? Do we see beyond whatever veils the presence of Christ living within us? And so we pray, Lord Jesus Christ, face of God among us, open our eyes to your presence dwelling in everyone we meet. Heal us of our spiritual blindness, and help us to see past each other's brokenness. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Um, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Cruise derided, cursed defiled, she beheld her tender child, all with bloody scourges rent. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by your, your holy cross you have redeemed the world. the world. Each time we fall, we are presented with the choice to give up or to try again. We will struggle with doubt, anxiety, and even hopelessness as we grapple with the new reality set before us. How will you make the choice to keep going? What gives you hope to move forward? And so we pray. Lord Jesus Christ, giver of hope, be with us in our trials, our doubts, and our questions. Be the strength that we need to rise again. Continue to show us the way forward. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Mary, full, full of grace, grace the Lord, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. For the sins of his own nation, so him hang in desolation, till his spirit forth he sent. 
the eighth station, Jesus speaks to the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by, by your holy, holy cross, cross you, you have redeemed the, the world. world. Jesus was always mindful of the marginalized members of society, the women, the sick, the poor. Not only does Jesus hear the cries of women, but he redirects their concern toward a prophecy that would soon come to pass, the fall of Jerusalem. It could be tempting to fall into our own self-pity during these times. Yet, even in his immense suffering, Jesus looks beyond himself. And so we pray. Lord Jesus Christ, compassion of God, help us to see beyond our own struggles. Open our hearts to the voices of all in need. Fill us with the spirit of your unending mercy. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O sweet Mother, fount of love, touch my spirit from above. Make my heart with yours accord. The ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. St. Paul writes, Though he was in the form of God, he did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, being born in human likeness. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. As Jesus falls the third time, we reflect on the frailty of human form, of his human form, a frailty in which we all share. Time and again we fall, we sin, we hurt each other, yet time and again God offers us another chance. And so we pray, Lord Jesus Christ, God of endless chances, teach us the ways of your mercy, of your patience. Help us to extend the grace you show us to all we encounter. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. you have felt 
Make my soul to glow and melt With the love of Christ my Lord The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy we cross you have redeemed the, the world. world. Jesus offers himself completely. He is stripped of his garments and even refuses the gall and vinegar that might have helped to sedate him. We are shown a Jesus who is willing to experience fully the misery of the crucifixion, the weight of our sins. We are shown the meaning of true sacrifice. We too are being asked to sacrifice material comfort for the sake of others. How might we fully experience our own sacrifices offered up for the good of our neighbor? And so we pray, Lord Jesus Christ, Lamb of God, inspire us the courage to offer ourselves completely, completely to you. Give us the grace to offer ourselves completely to each other. Let your example of endless love direct all our choices and actions. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Holy Mother, pierce me through. In my heart each wound renew. Of my Savior crucified. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by, by your holy cross, cross you have redeemed the world. the world. Every step along the way of the cross shows us Jesus willing to live every word he preached. We might ask ourselves, did it have to end this way? Jesus means to show us the complete, unconditional mercy and love God has for us. Would we have understood it any other way? Do we understand it even now? And so we pray. Lord Jesus Christ, sign of God's love, Help us to realize all the ways you pour love and mercy into our lives. Open our eyes to see your presence in all we are, in all we do, in every person we encounter. Make us ever thankful for your willingness to show us the love of God. We pray this through Christ our Lord, Amen. Amen. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let me share with you his pain, who for all our sins was slain, who for me in torments died. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by, by your holy, holy cross, cross you have redeemed, redeemed the, world. the world. We who are baptized with Christ Jesus are also baptized into his death. It is this death on the cross that awakens us to new life with Jesus Christ. It is this final breath that redeems the world. We are called to and saved by this mystery of his dying and rising. How will we emerge from this period of darkness? How will we bear this challenge in a way that inspires new life? And so we pray. Lord Jesus Christ, bearer of our sins, remind us that death is not the end. Light the way out of this darkness and reveal the path to new life. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let me mingle tears with thee, morning him who mourn for me, all the days that The thirteenth station, Jesus is taken down from the cross and given to his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Again, we are reminded that Mary's discipleship did not end with her yes to the angel Gabriel or with the birth of Jesus Christ. Mary's discipleship is made ever more inspiring by her witness during the crucifixion. This has been the true test of her faith in God's promise. For us, it is difficult to see beyond the darkness of these times to the light that God has promised. Even now, what signs of God's presence do we see in our struggles? And so we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. By the cross with you to stay, there with you to weep and pray. All I ask of you to give. The 14th station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. 
We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We are Christians whose faith is informed by the events of the resurrection. While Christ is laid in the tomb, we have the comfort of knowing that it is not the end, that Jesus will indeed rise. We too are in a tomb now, yet God makes us the same promise, resurrection. This is not the end, for God has promised us a future not of harm, but of hope, a future of new life in Jesus Christ. And let us pray in the words that Jesus gave us together. Our oh, Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Virgins of all virgins, bless, listen to my fond request. Let me share your grief divine. Let us pray for the intention of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and all the leaders of the Church and for our own personal needs for the end of this uh, virus at the earliest. Our Father, who Lord art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed, hallowed be, thy be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against, against us. us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Um, Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us. And tomorrow at 3 o'clock, we have the Divine Mercy Novena. Please join us too.